Bitcoin and Ethereum are currently trading at a very important level. Huge move is coming. Welcome to Daily Crypto Technical Analysis. We are going to do daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price prediction for intraday trading using different indicators and price action. But before we start, smash the like button because today's goal is to reach 60 likes on this video. Make sure it turns blue. It will only take you one second. If you are new here, you can also join our newly created Discord server because till I reach 2000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, you will have a special role on the Discord. It's called OG Hypers. Okay, so on an early time frame, Bitcoin is still moving in this descending triangle. We pretty much retested this very important support level at around 10,000 US dollars six times right now. And because of that, this is right now a very strong support level. But because this is a bearish triangle, we can expect if we only look at the triangle, a massive move to the downside. But in my opinion, I'm going to tell you exactly why I'm actually not expecting a move to the downside, but a move to the upside. Right now, you can see that on the two hourly time frame, we are still trading below 50 exponential moving average. And this 50 exponential moving average on the two hourly time frame is pretty much right now aligning with our triangle right there. Because of that, this 50 exponential moving average is a very important level. Because if we break this exponential moving average to the upside, we can expect a huge move. I'm going to tell you exactly where is, in my opinion, the best idea to enter a long position on Bitcoin. Because of that, watch the entire video. So, on the 30 minute time frame, we can also see that at this triangle, we also have our 200 exponential moving average on the 30 minute time frame. Like I said also before, this is a very important level and if the price will break to the upside, we can expect a massive target up here. I'm going to tell you exactly where my target is and why. On a daily time frame, we have also a nice bullish indication that Adler Stochastic CG Oscillator is at the bottom and it started to come into the green as you can see right there. Because of that, I am not looking to enter short positions on Bitcoin just because of the Adler Stochastic and because of the curve to the upside. Of course, it can turn easily to the downside and form a double bottom, for example, but because right now we are in the green and also because on the four hourly time frame, our wave trend indicator actually printed and confirmed a green dot, as you can see right there. Because of that, right now I am bullish on Bitcoin and I am expecting this bearish triangle to be broken to the upside. On the three hourly time frame, you can also see that we are in a very nice uptrend on the wave trend indicator. And we also have a green dot, which indicates us that we are in a short term uptrend. Also on the two hourly time frame, we are also nicely moving to the upside on the wave trend indicator. What is also bullish right now for me is the RSI. On the three hourly time frame, we are nicely moving to the upside. And we can also spot some kind of a pattern right there. So if we grab this trend line, you can also see that we are trading in this bearish flag, as you can see. This is a bearish indication right now. But because like I said, we are in a short term uptrend, in my opinion, we actually won't break to the downside. But if we do break to the downside, I have limit orders at 9,700 US dollars for a long position. And because of that, I am expecting just a wick and immediate pull to the upside if we break this triangle. What is bullish right now also is that on the hourly time frame, we are nicely bouncing off of the RSI trend line, as you can see right there. If you would trade purely with the RSI, you could nicely see the long positions formed here because we have a touch on the support line here. Also the trend line right there, nice move to the upside. You can enter a short term long position here. Also here, touch here, touch here. You could nicely open a long position once again. And also here we have many retests and nice move to the upside. Right now we are trading below this important trend line that we are having but we can get rejected up here and continue our way to the downside. Like I said, I am expecting because we are in a short term uptrend that this triangle will actually get broken to the upside. What we also have on the RSI on the 45 minute time frame, we can spot a nice triangle forming on the RSI. So if we go with the trend line, you can also see that we are in a major uptrend and also we can see this triangle forming. So like I said, if this triangle will get broken to the downside, we can expect immediate retest of the 10,000 US dollars and maybe broken to the downside. But like I said, in my opinion, there is right now higher probability we will actually get broken to the upside. And I'm going to tell you exactly where is my target 
and where you should enter a long position on Bitcoin. What is bullish also right now that on the MACD indicator on a daily time frame we have this light red as you can see and because of that I am bullish. Those moving averages are coming together which is bullish. We don't have a cross just yet but hopefully we will get a cross and because of that I am expecting a nice pull to the upside. So right now I'm going to tell you exactly where is the safest to open a long position on Bitcoin. So if this triangle will get broken to the upside you can set a long position above this wick that we had right there. So around 10,463 US dollars. What could be our target? If we go with the trend line right there and we only need to measure from the from the start of this trend line to the bottom to our 10,000 US dollars and we just need to move this and you will see exactly where our target is. So if we move this, for example, if we break right now to the upside, you can see that we can immediately target our 200 exponential moving average on the two hourly time frame. But why is this level so important? Because we also have, let me just move our target here a little bit to the upside. You will also see why this level is so important because of the CPR levels. So we also have our third blue CPR level pretty much right there, which nicely aligns with our target. Because of that, this would be my first target for Bitcoin. If you look a little bit in the past, you will also see that this is a very important level because of this consolidation and because of this resistance, second resistance that we had on the CPR level. And because of that, like I said, this would be my target. So where is the best idea to actually put your stop loss? On the 30 minute time frame, I was looking at the 200 exponential moving average before. And because of that, I would set my stop loss a little below 200 exponential moving average on the 30 minute time frame, which would be pretty much in the triangle right there. This would give you almost one and a half risk to reward ratio, which is okay. And because of that, in my opinion, this is the best idea to enter a long position right now on Bitcoin if this triangle of course will get broken to the upside. Why I would actually enter here because we would then form a higher high which is bullish. Before we continue to Ethereum guys, I have down below links where you can sign up on Bybit Trading Leverage Exchange and you can get up to $90 for free in trading bonus so you can start trading completely for free on Bybit. Right now let's look at Ethereum and as you can see Ethereum is currently also retesting our trend line right there. Hopefully we can actually break it to the upside but guys as you can see on Ethereum we have this resistance level right there. So if this triangle will get broken to the upside we can expect some kind of resistance up here. So on the two hourly time frame on the Ahner Stochastic CG oscillator you will see that we are a little bit bearish right now because maybe we can form a double top. This is a bearish pattern and because of that we could get easily rejected right now off of our trend line right there and we can retest our bottom trend line. Maybe we can then bounce here and continue our way to the upside because I'm also leaning towards entering a long position on Ethereum. On the four hourly time frame on the wave trend indicator you can also see that we are forming a green dot. Yes it's still not confirmed we need to still wait around two hours right now to be confirmed but on the three hourly time frame we already confirmed a green dot because of that I am leaning towards opening a long position also on Ethereum. On the 4 hourly time frame on the RSI indicator you can also see that we are nicely moving to the upside. We have a nice trend to the upside but we can also spot here a bearish flag pattern. This is a bearish pattern also on the 3 hourly and also on the 2 hourly. So we need still need to be careful and we still don't know if we are going to break to the upside or to the downside because this is a normal triangle not an ascending or not a descending but in my opinion it depends on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin will break to the upside Ethereum will pretty much follow and can actually reach our target which I'm going to show you exactly where my target is for the long position on Ethereum. So on the MACD indicator we can also see that on a daily time frame yesterday we actually didn't have this right now we have a light red color on RSI that means that moving averages are coming together and we can also see some bullishness on the Ethereum. If I would enter a long position on Ethereum I would enter it pretty much above the wicks that we have right there. So it would look something like this. I would enter above the wicks right there and our target could easily be the start of this triangle. So I'm going to show you and let me move this to here. You will see the target here which aligns pretty much with our consolidation phase right there. This would be my target and our stop loss could be below 50 exponential moving average on the two hourly time frame. Something like this would be my stop loss, maybe a little bit lower because we still maybe can retest our trend line of the triangle. 
uh, and this would give you a very nice risk to reward ratio. As you can see, this target nicely aligns also with the 200 exponential moving average on the two hourly time frame and also with the monthly CPR level. So let me change the CPR levels to the monthly pivots and you will see that it pretty much aligns perfectly with the first blue CPR level right here. Because of that, this would be my target on Ethereum, guys. So if you haven't already, smash the like button because today's goal is to reach 60 likes on this video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel because I am uploading daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price prediction and technical analysis videos. Right now, you can watch one of those two videos that are popping up on your screen. Thank you all guys for watching and peace out.